Hey guys, it's Brittany. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today I am prepping my dinner and I thought I would share it with you guys. This is one of my absolute favorite comfort foods and it is absolutely the easiest. So pot roast is honestly one of my favorite dinners, especially during the winter. It's just such a nice comforting food and what I love about it is you can throw it in the slow cooker and almost every time it will come out delicious, tender, and just melt in your mouth good. And so that's what we're making today. I've just been kind of craving it and I'm back into my New Year's routine. And like many of us, we're all trying to eat healthier. And I find that pot roast is a relatively healthy meal in moderation. And I'm actually gonna be keto fying it for my husband. So normally I would throw potatoes and carrots and peas and onions in it, but he's trying to be good. So I'm gonna skip a lot of that stuff. But this recipe is actually my own recipe and I published it to my food blog, Stress Less Cook More years ago. And I've just been continuing to use it because in my opinion, it is the best. So I'm gonna share with you guys my recipe today. I'll also link the recipe below in the comments or the description. Let's get cooking. Here are your ingredients you're gonna need. You're gonna need an Italian dressing seasoning packet, a ranch dressing seasoning packet, a brown gravy mix packet. You're gonna need a chuck roast. Definitely go the chuck roast route. You wanna make sure there's some fat in there that's just gonna help tenderize the meat as it's cooking and it will be nice and delicious and tender when you're done. And then you're gonna need either one cup of beef broth or beef stock. I usually go the beef stock route, but I had beef broth today, so that's what we're gonna use. And honestly, I'm just gonna use the entire can. It's about a cup. And then you'll also need one cup of water. Okay, so first I'm gonna make the sauce or the gravy. So I have one cup of water measured out in this bowl. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the whole can of beef broth. And then I'm gonna add all of the seasoning mixes. This is literally, the prep for this is five minutes. So this is perfect for busy weekdays. You can put it on in the morning and then you don't even have to worry about it throughout the day while it's cooking. So it's amazing. And then we're gonna go ahead and mix all of this together. I should have gotten a whisk out. That probably would have been easier. So we'll mix this. Okay. Now I'm going to pour this over the rose. So I have the rose over here and I did throw some baby carrots in for myself. My husband can just pick them out. And I'm gonna pour this all over. And part of, I, you wanna make sure there's a good enough liquid in here. Um, Cause, well at least my crock pot cooks a little high so a lot of the liquid will cook out. So if you feel like you don't have enough liquid, go ahead and add some extra stock um, or a little bit of extra water. Not too much cause you don't want to lose the flavor. So I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper to this and then the lid's gonna go on and we're gonna cook it on low for 10 hours. And then we'll regroup tonight to finish it up. Almost forgot an ingredient. You're gonna wanna add one or two bay leaves to the liquid, just to add some extra flavor. And then we're gonna go ahead and set it to low. I need to work on my shot. You guys are getting a nice shot of my cracked hands. <laughs> All right, we are on 10 hours on low. Put the lid on and here we go. We'll check back in later. All right, friends, checking on our roast. There's about three hours left on the slow cooker. Um, it is five o'clock, so we're probably gonna eat in about an hour and a half. So I wanted to go ahead and do the final step which is thickening the gravy. So let's just poke, oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at how tender that is. Oh yeah, it's gonna fall apart. 
This is awesome. Okay, so normally when I'm not feeling lazy, I would take the roast out of the crock pot and I would put it on a cutting board and I would let it rest and then I would shred it. I'm feeling really lazy today. I don't want to do that, um, so I'm not going to do that. But your next step is you're going to want to take the bay leaves out, which I did that. So go ahead and throw those away. And then over here, I have some cornstarch. This is optional. I prefer my gravy to be a little thicker when we eat this. So take one teaspoon of cornstarch and mix it in with two tablespoons of cold water. So I'm going to take the cornstarch and water mixture and I'm just going to pour it into the sauce like so. Make sure I get all of it. And then I'm just gonna mix this up so it's incorporated into the liquid. And you can see that my roast is actually falling apart as I do that. And then we're just gonna let this continue cooking on low until I'm ready to eat it, which will probably be in an hour and a half. And again, you really only need this to thicken up for about an hour and you should see that the liquid has gotten a little thicker. Again, this is a totally optional step. If you're okay with it being more of a broth type mixture, then just leave it the way it is. But it smells really good. And then tonight, I'm just gonna serve this over some frozen mashed potatoes and frozen cauliflower. So it is gonna be super tasty. It is dinner time and how amazing does this look? So we have mashed potatoes, I made some green peas on the side that I threw in my bowl. Derek is skipping those and also the dog is on full alert right now. <laughs> Are you afraid of the camera? Are you afraid? What a little wimpy boy. All right, I'm gonna try to do a taste test without scalding my mouth. This looks pretty hot. Pretty hot. You're not getting any, no. Go eat your food. Oh yeah. The roast is so tender and those seasoning packets give it so much flavor. And I definitely recommend adding in some vegetables. I just love having carrots in roast and if you want to put put up potatoes in it as well, you can totally do that too. I just like to eat mine over mashed potatoes because it kind of soaks up all that gravy. So good. And definitely worth it to add the cornstarch in just to make it a little thicker. All right, guys, I'm going to go enjoy my dinner, but I hope you enjoy this video. And if you try this recipe, please let me know and drop a comment below to let me know how you like it or if you have any questions about the recipe. I'm gonna try to do more of these cooking style videos this year, so if you're new here, I hope you'll subscribe for more videos from me. Thank you again for joining, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.